The center of pressure can help measure postural stability. We can do so by looking at the center of pressure variables, such as area, velocity, and the distance from the projection of the center of gravity. The larger the distance from the center of pressure to the center of gravity, the less stable a person is, and the more likely they'll be to fall. What is the center of pressure? How is it measured, and how can it be used? In short, the center of pressure is a two-dimensional point that represents the average location of the pressure applied to a surface or body. For example, on a touchscreen, the center of pressure is the main point of force application of your finger to the screen. In our case, when speaking about human balance and biomechanics, the surface is the ground and the forces are generated by the contact of our foot or feet with the ground. This interaction results in a ground reaction force. So, with that in mind, the center of pressure is the point of application of the ground reaction force. Also, it is worth mentioning that the center of pressure can be calculated for each foot or both feet jointly, and it will always be inside the base of support. But how is it measured? In biomechanics, the most commonly used instrument for measuring the center of pressure is the force plate. A force plate measures forces and the twisting moments applied to its surface, which we will discuss later in this video. It is used by movement scientists to determine ground reaction forces and to calculate the center of pressure. Using a rectangular force plate as an example, if a uniform pressure is applied over the force plate, the center of pressure will be located right in the middle of the plate. But if the force applied within the point of contact moves to one of the sides, the center of pressure will move with it. Think of a person standing. If they reach for an object in front of them, they might lean forward, adding more pressure on their toes, moving their center of pressure forward. To calculate the location of the center of pressure, we need to find the distance of the ground reaction force from the center of the force plate. The offset of the ground reaction force from the center of the force plate is measured by how much the plate is twisting around the X and Y axes. Each twist is also referred to as a moment. In turn, dividing these moments by the vertical force gives the location of the center of pressure. How can the center of pressure be used? Research has shown that the center of pressure can help us determine a person's stability and balance. By knowing how a person shifts their weight, we can correct movements to prevent injuries. This information can be beneficial for people with neurological balance problems, orthopedic issues, and athletics.